Good morning everyone. Today we are on day 26 of 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. Our sketch artist today is Lori Roach Ross and she has a she's got a um, St. Patrick's Day layout. She has little banners up at the top. She has a big shamrock over here, a large title. She has three photos, various sizes, and then she has a scattering of shamrocks over here. And she's got a large title. Oh, and she's mad at her photos. So um, I've totally taken a cue from <laughs> her theme and everything. So um, I've got Alex and Aiden here, and they are the twins. I think they were, they were probably four. And um, this is before they started school, and it was during COVID. And so their mom pulled up a picture of a leprechaun and said, for, told him to draw a leprechaun. So um, that's what I'm doing, their sketch. And actually, they show the picture up on the screen, and it's like a kid drew it too. So that's pretty cute. And so I'm going to actually flip the sketch because she has it on the left, but the kids are facing this way. Now this, um, this layout will be for Aiden and I've already got Alex's done and I will show you that when I'm done. But um, you can see Alex is the artist of the family. <laughs> but Aiden said he's getting a little better. Okay, so I'm going to put this right over here. And I might run out of tape here. There's not much left in there. Okay, that there. And I have no idea where this paper came from. This paper here that I have. This is um, from Hobby Lobby or the paper studio and so I've matted them in that. And this was some paper pad because there was a hole in the top so that's, all I, that's the only way I know. Okay so I'm gonna put this about right there. So this is when they still lived in Washington and during the during COVID um, their dad worked for a um, car rental place and they were it's like they when everything was shut down they just weren't renting anything. So he ended up having to um, tell everybody else that, you know, their job was done. And, and then the last day, I guess, because he was the boss and then, um, or whatever you call him, he was the head. And then one day they came and told him too, but they already seen it coming. So they had already made plans to move. And so this is just before that. I have to say that was the best part of COVID is that they came home because it was a long flight to go see them. It's still a long drive because they live, um, you know, two and a half hours away, but beats the heck out of waiting at the airport and, and then such a long flight. I mean, I think it was always like a six hour flight. It was long. And I had never flown until I flew out there. But then I kind of liked it. It was nice just not doing anything. <laughs> okay. So she's got the little banners up there. So I'm really staying close to the sketch with the exception of the flipping. Okay. And I'm going to have a leprechaun over here that I made 
for the um, swap embellishment. So I'm putting the darkest banner over here. Now my sister, we just met um, up there with the twins and their family and my other daughter and the other grand girls, so that was fun. Um, my sister's daughter, she does gymnastics now. She's in college, so they have a different thing that they actually do. And I forget what it was called, but that was very interesting. Okay, now I'm going to put Draw a Leprechaun. That's going to be my title. And I have these letters that I don't know if I'll end up having to glue them or not. But I'm putting the title right where she did. And I'll pause it so you don't have to watch. It takes a while. Okay, so I've got Draw a Leprechaun there. And I'm unsure... Um, I don't know if I even know where the big letters come from, but if if I can figure it out, I will have it in the link below. Um, the smaller letters, they are Heidi Swap. I love these because sometimes you just need smaller letters, and I love the, having a combo. I might have to glue these down a little bit, but they have a little bit of sparkles. So they're super cute, and. Then I have one of the leprechauns I made. Now, if you watch that, I did um, make a tag too, but I'm not going to use a tag with this. Now, oh, and during the making of them, I had forgot to put the mustache on them, but I did put it on now. Okay, so I'm going to use that, but I'm going to put some shamrocks down here. Oh, and I was watching, I think, a video where um, someone who was um, scrapbooking um, St. Patrick's Day, maybe. I don't remember exactly what it was. But anyhow, she was talking about how the real shamrocks are just three, just three petals. And St. Patrick used to teach about the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost with that. So that was pretty interesting. So I thought, boy, I really need to look that up because I find that very interesting. Okay, so there's my um, my leprechaun. And then, let's see, I have I think I want to do this one here. I'm going to put it on here. Okay. And then I'm going to scatter some down in this area just like in her sketch. I think this one here. And I want to use this one. These are from Hobby Lobby. They had them on sale the day that I was there. Okay, we got this polka dot one here. And used a lot of these already, so I don't have too much left. I should have bought two pages of them because, you know, I have these Irish children. Okay, I got two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. So I have to do, keep that or do nine. I think I'm going to do a little bit more. I've already got that one. Let's see. I think trying to use the smaller ones. I think this one here. And, you know, now they're all the same size. <laughs> okay. So I think that's a good amount there. Two, 
four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And I will have to put some glue behind that. So I can see the way it's popping up. Okay. And then I have... Oh. I'm trying to pick these up. I have some sequins. Some gold sequins. Because I thought he's got gold on his belt buckle and stuff and it would be cute and oh and I after I put down these letters I did take this and kind of burnish them down a little bit but I can still see that some of them are going to have to need a little gluing but I did that I like to use even if I don't use wax paper to put them down I do like to do that if there's something that's not attaching real well Okay, now I'm going to just spread some of these gold sequins around. So I'm going to put three up in here. So, um, we met in Fort Wayne and hung out. My sister and um, my two girls and then um, it wasn't long um, it's like my daughter's going oh I think I'm gonna have to come to your house for the eclipse and I really thought nobody is gonna be here but um, now I might have a lot of people because we're in the totality and so I said make sure you plan ahead because our electric company already told us um, that we were going to have maybe 300,000 more people than normal and I couldn't even wrap my head around that and because we're a, kind of a small town and whoops so that would be very interesting luckily we have a military base so they do have a lot of hotels over here but they've been I heard they were booked since last year for like three times the price that they normally charged but I guess those people were lucky because um, there is we seen that there was one room to rent in a town, I think it's south of us, but I'm not sure because the road turns and then I'm always confused of how, how can this be actually facing in this direction. <laughs> but um, anyway, they had one room and that they wanted $1,400 for. Oh my gosh. I don't think we'd be seeing it if we didn't live here. Because <laughs> I don't think I could get behind paying some ridiculous price. And then um, the ones um, down the road from us, they said you had to, you had to um, stay for three days, which they're saying, oh, you know, they're... The gas could run out, the electricity could be off, all these little things. So, um, you know, to plan ahead, we have one grocery store in town and we could be out of food. Um, the restaurants, um, I know that the town just north of us, they said this one restaurant that we frequent because they're gluten free. Um, they said, oh, we're not, we're only selling baked goods and we're going to have it blocked off where you can't come in. <laughs> so you can just come to the entrance and buy baked goods. So that, would, I would like to um, go and see it that day to see how they're working that out. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to go because they also told us that expect every 10 miles you go to take 
two hours. It's like, oh my gosh, for Pete's sakes, I won't be going any place. <laughs> we'll not be going any place that day. So, but I guess I don't have to because everybody's coming here. So I said, well, make sure you're here in plenty of time because don't think that you're going to um, leave your house that day and get here. So it's a really interesting event, I have to say that. Okay, so there's Aiden's. And I have so much stuff spread out here. I don't know if I can put them right next to each other like I like to do. But I can see if I can give everything a shove and make it work. <laughs> So, let me move all my tweezers and everything. Oh, the husband's just getting home too. So, there's Aiden's, and this will be Alex's. I didn't have enough um, E's to make, use the same letters. So, I've got two different letters. I thought this one looked a little more boy, this one maybe looked a little more girl, but they're both sparkling. So that's it for today, and I will have close-ups at the end, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Oh, check out the people below. You know the drill. There's a Facebook group, and there's a YouTube group. Bye-bye.